The next part of the stories Jillian tells is called Because of Figs. In the summer, I like to lie in the grass and look at clouds and eat figs. Figs are soft and purple and delicious. Their juice runs all over my face and I eat them till I'm so full I can't eat anymore. Because of figs, I got a strange birthday present. And because of that birthday present, I had some trouble. This is what happened. It all started a long time ago when I had my fourth birthday. My father came home from work and said, I have something for you, Julian. Go look in the car. I ran to look and Huey ran after me, tripping on his shoelaces. When we looked in the back seat of the car, there was a tree, a small tree with just a few leaves. We ran back to my father. A tree for a birthday present, I said. A tree for a birthday present, Huey said. He was two years old, and he always repeated everything I said. It's a fig tree, my father told me. It will grow as fast as you grow, Julian, and in a few years it will have figs that you can pick and eat. I could hardly wait to grow my own sweet, juicy, purple figs. We planted the tree by our back fence, and I gave it water every day. And then one morning it had two new leaves. Fig tree, you're growing, I said. I thought I should be growing too. There is a mark on the wall in the bathroom of our house where my father measures us, and I ran into the house to measure myself against my old mark. I pressed my hand against my head, flat to the wall, and checked where my hand was compared to the old mark. I wasn't any taller. I walked outside to the fig tree. I'm not any taller, I said. I touched the fig tree's new leaves. I want to grow too, I said. You know how to grow and I don't, I told the fig tree. The fig tree didn't say a word. Maybe what makes you grow will make me grow, I told it. And very quickly, I picked the fig tree's new leaves and ate them. They tasted worse than spinach. I was pretty sure they would make me grow. I did a little growing dance around the fig tree with my hands raised high in the air. It worked. I stayed taller than Huey. I got taller than my fig tree, and every time my fig tree got new leaves, I saw them and ate them secretly. And when nobody was looking, I did a growing dance. If you don't like this fig tree, just tell me, I'd say. The fig tree never said a word. After a year, my father looked at my fig tree. It's a nice little tree, he said, but it isn't growing. And he started putting fertilizer on my tree, and he looked at it more often. But when new leaves showed, I saw them first, and I wanted to get taller, so I ate them. Another whole year went by. My mark on the bathroom wall went up three inches. I was four inches taller than Huey, and my arm muscle was twice as big as his. The fig tree hadn't grown at all. Fig tree, I said when I took its new leaves. I'm sorry, but I want to grow tall. And the fig tree didn't say a word. One day, my father was in the garden. He walked over to my fig tree. Julian, he said, something is the matter with your tree. It hasn't grown. It hasn't grown at all. Really? I said. I didn't look at my father. I didn't look at my fig tree either. Do you have any idea what could be wrong? My father asked. I looked straight at my feet, across my toes, inside my shoes. Oh, no. I think that tree's just plain no good. We'll pull it out of the ground and get another one. Oh, no, don't do that, I begged. Julian, my father said, do you know something about this tree that I don't know? I didn't say anything, and I was glad, very glad that the fig tree didn't say a word. Finally, I said, it's my tree. Give it one more chance. No use waiting around, my father said. His hand was around the trunk of my tree. Please, I said. My father's hand relaxed. After all, it is your tree, he said. Just tell me when you want another one. All afternoon, I couldn't think of anything but all the little fig leaves I'd eaten. I was pretty sure I knew why the tree didn't grow. At bedtime, I couldn't sleep. And when Huey went to sleep, I got up and sneaked outside to my fig tree. I told God I knew what the fig leaves that the fig leaves belonged to the fig tree. I told the fig tree I was sorry, and I promised I would never eat its leaves again. 
The fig tree didn't say a word, but the next week it got two new leaves and kept them. That night, I went to bed happy, and I dreamed a good dream. My fig tree was higher than the house. I was almost as tall as my dad, and there were big figs, juicy figs, sweet figs falling all over the lawn. And that is Because of Figs. The next part is called My Very Strange Teeth.